All right. Good morning, Cubaneros. Today I'm going to make a little challenge. Could your beliefs save your life? Say you were on trial for your belief system before some tribunal, like Socrates, for failure to respect the acknowledged deities, let's say, and you could save your life only if you could demonstrably provide evidence for your belief system. Now, this would be a completely fair tribunal. No one has paid off the judges to railroad you to a lethal injection of hemlock or barbiturates, regardless of whatever you say in your defense. If you can prove your beliefs in a rational manner, using the criteria of evidence necessary in an honest court of law, you walk free. It would, uh, for instance, not be enough to say, I know God is real because I know I can feel him deep inside. The judge would only counter with, that's all well and fine. But how can you show that to me in this court? As a judge, I need a body of evidence, not a body of faith. To be fair, you'd be given two weeks to assemble the hard evidence for your case before you went to trial. Could you do it? If I give some general principle like truth and justice or for all or there for none, it would be incumbent on me to show how truth and justice apply equally, leaving aside questions, questions of definition, which is not the point at issue. I could marshal any number of precedents that show human beings have universally opposed lies, sought to discover truth, however limited the resources to do so, and have always resisted injustice and fought for justice according to their definition and understandings thereof. Because of this universality, it would be easy to prove that all human beings value truth and justice as universal principles for themselves. Therefore, it can't be upheld to deny them to any human being as they are part of our human essence, like hunger or thirst, sex or logic. Anyway, that's my brainstorm for today, and... <coughs> Jeez, not a moment's peace around here. Hello? Chief Justice John Roberts of the U.S. and Supreme Court. What rendition, I mean, rendering do you have for us today? Just the truth and justice or whatever you say they are. Can you substantiate that claim with a legal body of evidence? Oh, you don't need to. Just take it on faith that you know what you're doing. But isn't hemlock as illegal as meth to buy, sell, cultivate, or distribute? Uh-huh. It's not lethal for adults as long as you say it's not. Like Grand Theft Auto isn't too violent for children.